You talked about uh, last night after the game how you've been game seven the Stanley Cup and you've been on a team like this who's obviously had a rough season. Is there anything that you learned when you were in Boston playing in the highest stakes that you can pass along to the younger guys here who maybe haven't uh, gotten experience in the playoffs yet to help them uh, reach the playoffs? Uh, yeah, of, co of course, plenty of things. I was obviously um, very uh, lucky to, to be in a room full of a lot of great players and and leaders, and I think you know most of their stuff. Um, what I learned from them is it's, it's an example, and you got to lead by example. So it's um, something that you know I think I could do better of is is do that. And um, we also got some some good leaders and and Boone and, and Z on this team that um, you know have been here for a while and, and had had success. You know, not recently, but um, so those are guys you can you can look to also. But yeah, what I've learned is it's. It's um, let me see it. Don't tell me about it. So try and do as much of that as you can. Sean Yalmer said it, and a lot of players as well before you that came in. The phrase, there needs to be a higher standard. What does that mean to you? Well, higher standard, yeah, it, it, there, there's no question. So you start there, you say, we need a higher standard. Um, the, uh, the results speak for themselves. Um, if if uh, we don't raise the standard, it's, you know, you know we don't, the results won't change, and we need these results to change. So how do you raise the standard? I mean, you, you act like a pro. You do you know, what you need to do away from the rink. Um, you know, I think it's different for every single guy. Um, how do we raise the standard? I think you know, as a group, we're going to have to talk about what that exactly means. Does that mean um, you know, uh, little pieces, little details? To me, it's, it's mostly about little details and some things that you can seem might not matter, but... Um, yeah, details, little things. Um, so yeah, those are all. You know, the standard will be raised by you know everyone sticking to the details and doing the little things correctly, and hopefully creating a you know a culture of the little things matter. Sean, what's your reaction to the coaching change? Yeah, obviously it's a tough. It's um, it's really tough to see. It's you know uh. Um, Lars is a is a guy that you know it's it's anyone that loses their job is not fun. It's not a fun thing to see, and um, um, obviously a, a really a good man, and um, it's a uh, it's a sad day. And as a player, it's um, you never want to be on a team that that as a coach, uh, you know, relieved of his duties. So um, you take it you take it uh, upon yourself as a player that we can be better, and we're going to have to be better. Um, Sean, you've been part of some really, really, really good teams, as you mentioned, with uh, you know, Boston going to Game 7 of the Stanley Cup Final. So you know what a good team looks like uh, from the player perspective. When you look around the room, I know it's a young team still, uh, a lot of talent. What, like, what do you see as you look around the room as we look toward next season? And, and you're almost talking like he's approaching this offseason like we want to make a, a big rebound next year. Yeah. Um... You know, there's pieces there. There's pieces in that room, which is which is exciting as a player. Um, we've got a ton of talent. We've got um, we're young, um, and now it's about putting those things together. So, so with that comes the responsibility of of how how do we make these pieces work? And every player is is going to have to take this off season, do some serious reflecting. Um, I'm going to have to look myself in the mirror and what can I do better to to make this team better? And I think you get a group. Um, you know, all raising their own personal standard. Uh, the, you know, the whole team standard can rise. So we've got pieces, um, but pieces are only pieces unless you put them together. Um, hockey's obviously a sport that if you play it long enough, there's a lot of wear and tear on your body. Um, just wondering how you're feeling physically going into the off season, and you know, how how, how are you planning to approach from your own perspective? training and all that kind of stuff this season yeah um you know health wise I, I feel good um you know luckily my, my body is uh is in is in some good good shape right now which is which is good um it's always little things and and nagging things that as you get a little older that you're always you're always keeping an eye on and always having to work to um you know keep on top of those things but yeah as uh you know you, you look to the summer and you you, you try and you know, think how can I get away from this, and, and physically, emotionally, and um, uh, mentally. Um, you know, those are the pieces. Of, so you get away from a little bit, get away from it, 
and then you know how do you address those three things to be to be better next season and um, you know I've um, put a plan together with people that I work with and um, you know sit down you know, next week and see what that looks like in terms of timing and training and when does that start and when do we start this and when do you start skating and um, so I'll, I'll be addressed very very shortly and um, you know you kind of put your plan together and, and stick to it and um, you know get ready for another for another season that way that we you know we all know that if um, we're all gonna have to get better so I'll be looking at this off season as an opportunity to um, you know you don't get this much time all the time so I'll have uh, plenty of time, which hopefully is you know coming, you know coming to, coming to the end of having all this time. And but uh, you get the time, you got to use it. So uh, I'm planning on using it. And um, you know if you're not getting better in this league, you're left behind. So find a way to get better in, in all aspects. Sean, everyone handles adversity differently. You know, obviously this was a year full of adversities for the team. So as a leader of the team, was it is that something that you kind of noticed? different players handled it differently and did it bring the, some of the players closer together or maybe even separate some of them yeah what a what a challenging year um, um, adversity uh, all over the place um, and no lack of uh, you know crazy things happening and um, seeing crazy things happen and um, yeah as a player just um, yeah, try and get through it. Um, I think, you know, you talk about leadership and stuff and uh, you look back and, and you know, I haven't, you know, completed reflecting on this year, but definitely um, you, know, you, you see some things that you weren't ready for maybe. And, um, you know, I, I'd say, you know, there's disappointment and in, in personally about how you handle some things and, and um, how you bring them with you or leave them behind and what to choose and what to dwell on and, and what to leave there. And I think I learned a lot about that this year and, um, things I wish I handled better uh, personally, um, you know, how to handle some of these losses and, and you know, keeping your emotions in check and not being, um, you, know, you know, if you want to be a leader, um, you know, you got to show some, you know, control on that and things I'd, I'd like, to, like to see myself get better at. John, as a guy who grew up here, this is all very personal to you as well as professional. Does that make the losing even more difficult? Um... Hmm, that's a good question. I, I think it, there's two sides to that because is losing is, is always very difficult. Um, but but man, was it challenging this year. So and you know there was a lot of it. And now I'm at home and um, the losing stings. Yeah, and I um, so maybe it does being at home, you know, makes it hurt a little little more um, um, than it would if. If anything, I don't want to minimize though the losses in general just just stink for sure. And does that make the fire burn even hotter this summer when you really get into it? I mean, yeah, how do you yeah. keep it from getting demoralizing? I guess. Yeah, yeah, Porty. For me, I think it's uh, it's controlling the fire more than keeping the fire. So um, uh, that's kind of where I try and you know personally where I need to stay is controlling it and channeling it in the right ways. Um, it's always I feel like. There's always fire there for, for me, and um, but uh, you know if you don't use it correctly, it can be negative also. So definitely a ton of fire. This um, you know it, this this team, this organization, this city. It's it it uh, means a lot to me, and the success this this team is. I take it personally. So um, for right or for wrong, maybe I'll have to figure out how to do a better job of that. Uh, Sean, as a as a veteran who's been around this league for a while. Um, I'm wondering, I mean, you had a, a bunch of young guys come to that locker room this year, obviously, but you know, one of them was Kirill Marchenko. Uh, I'm wondering, just from a, I guess, his personality standpoint, uh, what did that do for the room this year to just have a guy who, who seems like he's always eternally positive? Yeah, he was, uh, it was great. And um, he brings a good attitude and, and just as important, he, he played some really good hockey and, and that's what we need. Um, he, uh, yeah, like you said, it's it's not always from the older guys down. I mean, you can get inspired by a young guy coming in and looking around and him realizing this is his first thing in the NHL that he's seeing. Um, and it kind of as a guy that's you know been a, around a few years, you look back and like, oh, it's kind of a cool reminder of what it's like to, to be here. And you get a quick reminder of um, how lucky you are and 
and what a responsibility you, you have on your shoulders to um, figure out how to perform um, and be a good teammate and be a good leader and be a good example. So Marchie was, uh, was a really big bright spot this year for us and a really good teammate, um, played good hockey. Um, so he's got a lot to be proud of, of, of how it went for him this year. And I think we got a lot to look forward in, in him. And um, for us to have success, he's going he's gonna to keep getting better, which will be good, and he's going to have to. Sean, as part of the leadership group that you have, how much input do you want or maybe expect to have in, in the coaching search? Do you really want to be involved in that and let the management know what you expect? Um, you know, we, we, have, we have full faith in management and um, trust them to do, to do their job and do their due diligence. I think what you do is you, you uh, answer questions and, and um, give honest feedback. Um, we're all trying to go in the same direction here. Um, so it's, it's being as honest as you can with feedback um, and letting them make, make the, the appropriate decision. I, I, uh, we have all the faith in the world that they will. Um, and, but it's on us to, our responsibility is, is to give them what they need to make that decision. And, and that's what, that's what we plan on doing. All right. Thank you guys. Challenging here, but thanks.